So we have the female decision making. And therefore, as a result of the female decision making, how are you going to retail it to the female decision maker? How does the British High Street retail a house? Uh, sorry, retail stuff. Do they, you know, men, how long do you spend in shops? Right. Okay, Thomas, are you outlining for us again? Okay. <laughs> a woman speaking very broadly, and I'm so sorry, sisterhood, about this, but how long do you spend in shops? A little bit longer. Okay, there we go. And what do we like about shops? You can touch the feel and try. Yes. Good ideas. Yes, you get ideas. She has to go for something special in mind. Yes. I don't know what window shopping means. Jonathan. I didn't quite catch what you said then. It went started for It's an experience being in a being in a musical shop. So at Christmas time, one of my very good friends, Caroline, who I call Sunshine Caroline, because cut through the middle, she's sunshine. She works in palliative care and she's she's beautiful as a human being. She and I went off to London for a day like two little kids and took the top of the buses and went round all of the London highlights to see the Christmas lights. You know, so we did Harrods and we did Selfridges and we, we did Covent Garden and we were just like the whole day long, you know. And that is roughly, I'm so sorry sisters, this female experience of shopping and you are retailing a house to a woman. So if I hear that noise, what am I talking <laughs> <Sold. laughs> So no, no, we've discussed it. Actually, no, that's true. The higher the pitch, the more excited they're getting. And when you start hearing, my house, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do that, I love this, that's mine, that's mine. Wouldn't this they look nice here? Yes. They just bought it. Yes.